and welcome back to our garden. In today's video I'm going to show you how we have successfully planted zucchini, pumpkin and butternut in a slightly unconventional way. So bear with me as I walk you through the process. At the end of this video I'll just give you an update on how the boyard behind me is actually doing because as some of you may already know we've managed to harvest and get creative with quite a few of our zucchinis already. We haven't had butternut and pumpkin just yet. Um, their growing season is quite long, but you will see at the end just how many we have got. Right, so a couple of weeks ago, I planted some corn. We planted, should I say, some corn, zucchini and um, pumpkin. And we did a bit of an experiment to see how it's going to work with our soil now because corn needs a fairly deep roots has a fairly deep root system we planted them directly in the ground putting lots of um, good soil and compost with it so far so good the heat and a bit of rain that we've had has unfortunately put a bit of stress on them I'll show you in a minute but the zucchini and the pumpkin are looking amazing so those I actually planted above ground and what we did is I layered a whole bunch of grass clippings and then some really good soil and compost on top and then I just stuck them straight into there. It was very much an experiment but clearly working because these are the zucchini plants. They're looking a bit wilted because it's very very hot today but you can see they're pretty big. Um, when I planted them they were really so small. They were just these little uh, seedlings so they're really doing well so the first four are zucchini and then these are my pumpkins or oh, butternut I can't recall now because I've planted I've got both um, again you can just see a little bit of heat stroke but they're doing really really well some new little leaves coming up so what I'm going to do today is I've got a few more seedlings I've got uh, I think six to go so we noticed the corner bed diver there, the corner bed floods. So I'm going to have to go, I think, basically next to um, and just extend this bed out even further and then plant those extra seedlings today. So that's today's job. But have a look at our corn, it's doing amazing. So these ones are a bit smaller because we bought them at a, a different time. And um, we're trying that whole successional planting so that we've got corn for a couple of weeks but very excited because we both really really like corn um, especially on the cob itself to eat it fresh so yes gonna get going Everything in this garden is very much experimental at this stage. The first time I made that bed I used dry grass and today I'm actually going to be using freshly cut grass and just see if it adds any extra benefit. Hopefully it doesn't kill my plants. But um, yeah, and if you're wondering why I'm using this instead of my wheelbarrow, that is because sadly the wheelbarrow is full of soil from another project that we're working on. So just gotta make do with what we have at this stage. <laughs> Basically, I've joined it. So basically, I've joined it to the other one, so that it's just one big bed. I've had to use a little bit of the dried grass as well, just because I ran out of some of the fresh grass. I didn't do a lot of mowing today. And what I will be planting is some butternut, and the other one is pumpkin, and just oh, there we go. Is some Queensland blue. So I'm a bit excited for that. I'll be honest, I'm not sure which is which now because all the leaves look very similar to me. I'm just gonna go ahead and 
fill the bed with some decent potting mix and then some compost. Now funnily enough I actually bought these plants the same time I bought the zucchini and the I think that other one was butternut as well in the back and honestly just didn't plant them because a I ran out of space I also want B I wanted to see if the bed was going to actually work this sort of method and then the rains hit so they've survived if not thrived through all of that so I figured they're looking really great and pretty big now in um, just general potting mix so I reckon it's time to start transplanting them so I'm gonna get started um, it's really hot at the minute so perhaps not the best time to be planting but at the same time I do lose a bit of light if I wait too long so I'm just gonna get going and hope for the best Another reason I've chosen this spot in front of our chicken coop is because we are not using this part of the land for anything else at the moment and given that all these veggies need a lot of space to grow I figured this was the best place they'll be totally uninterrupted and yeah hopefully we have in a couple of months or a couple of weeks should I say some really nice squash it's gonna be a bit luck of the draw because as I say, um, I'm no expert at trying to identify what is what at the moment, so, you know, hopefully squash grow well together. Oh, they've done really well in these parts, it's amazing. And these have just been sitting on the patio, so they've been getting a lot of sun. Um, but, yeah, I'm just really amazed. I don't think it's flowers yet, it feels very soon, but there is perhaps new leaves, I'm not really sure, it's my first time actually growing pumpkin and butter, well, any type of squash really, so yeah, we'll just keep an eye on those, um, at this stage I'm thinking it's probably just new leaves, which is great, because then it means the plant's really healthy and it's happy, um, but at the same time I'm like kind of hoping it's flowers. <laughs> Planted. and I must say it looks so much better now that I've got a bigger bed I am gonna just put some more of this dried grass around my seedlings just to further protect them it has it has gotten extremely hot lately so I just want them to be able to make sure they can retain some of that moisture because it's still very very hot I'm only going to water a little bit later today when the Sun sort of starts fading because the last thing I want to do is put more stress on the plants. I gotta apologize guys as soon as I started planting the neighbor started mowing her lawn and obviously there's nothing I can do about that so apologies if the sound quality is a bit bad today. guys now that was a bit of a strange way to plant I absolutely admit and we took a gamble doing it the way that we did however I think it has seriously paid off because we have managed to do spaghetti bolognese with our zucchini lasagna with our zucchini and we've done 
chocolate brownies. Delicious. I've even managed to disguise zucchini in a couple of other dishes. So we have had a really good harvest this season, only from four plants. It has been amazing. Considering we lost a few, just, I guess that happens. You know, some were just a little rotten inside. I'm not really sure why. We do get a lot of unpredictable weather here. So that could be a bit of a part to play. Um, but yeah, I, overall, this is a great economical way to grow zucchini and I couldn't be happier. So I'm just going to show you what the bed looks like at the moment and yeah, very exciting. I see some of our um, Queenslander blue pumpkins are just starting to peek through as well as some of the butternut. Sadly, we lost about two or three butternut, um, something ate them. So nothing to do with the way we've planted, just one of those natural elements, I guess. Um, we suspect potentially a possum, but I'll just take you through. So this is the bed, if you can absolutely believe it. So the only reason I've got the hoop over there is just to try and protect some of those butternut. So the zucchini uh, potentially coming to their end, they starting to look not so great. Um, but as you can see, there is one over there. Got another very healthy looking one over there. And we had a little surprise. We didn't realize we actually had some yellow ones. So that's really been awesome. Now I know some people grow like these monstrous zucchini. We didn't really want to do that. We thought, you know, pick fresh and eat straight away. We've probably still got about four, I think, in our fridge. So we've got a really great harvest this year. These are the butternuts. So very, very exciting. The first few that we lost to potentially the possum didn't even make it quite to that size. So overall, very, very happy. If you guys have got any other sort of conventional ways that you've been planting, please share with us and so we can try it. I'll just very quickly show you the pumpkin. They're like tiny, tiny, but it is exciting to know that they are on the way. So there is our first little Queenslander blue on its way. Okay, so I'm standing at the corn bed and sadly, this is not a positive update. We really did try with this experiment to go in ground, mixing some quality tops, quality soil and compost. However, it just was not enough. We then decided, because we noticed early on that this was going to be a problem. Uh, it's still in the bed, I'll show you in a minute, but we decided to plant some seeds and I successfully grew some sweet corn through seeds that I bought and I've got them in a raised bed at the moment. And I just want to show you the difference because it's actually unbelievable. So it's still a bit unclear at the stage if we actually get any sweet corn from the raised bed. However, the difference is just, you'll see. So these are the little corns we had in the ground. And as you can see, not doing well at all. They're still super, super tiny. They've kind of started getting this little bit at the top. Forgive me, I don't actually know what it's called. But as you can tell, there is no corn coming whatsoever. So this was a bit of a fail. But that's okay. It just tells us that this is just not going to work for us. I'm now standing at our raised bed and the corn is lush, it's green, it stems off thick. It's just unbelievable. I'm still a bit concerned as to whether this will work because our raised bed is not very deep and needing and because they need that deep root system I guess you just never know so yeah any tips and tricks please send them along but I'll show you what they look like what a difference guys what a difference 